Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're doing a walkthrough of Handcom Cell. So Handcom Cell is uh, the closest replacement to Microsoft Office Excel that I've been able to find on a tablet or phone. Now this uh, will ship with all uh, future Samsung devices. So as we see here on the uh, Pro series, as well as the Note Pro series, um, as well as I expect it to be on future uh, cell phone devices as well. But how does this uh, deal with um, the crucial formulas and functions that we are used to with Excel? Again, this is something that even Apple has had issues with with their uh, uh, app called Numbers and program on their computer called Numbers because most business people will always go towards Excel it's just far superior. So let's see how this one does. So as we see, we have uh, some document templates on here from loan calculations to portfolio allocations, uh, net worth, wedding budget, which I think is hilarious. I'll have to be doing that one in a couple of uh, years. And then you have uh, even a vacation planner. Pretty good uh, templates to start off with, uh, but most people will, of course, use a uh, new document. So let's see how this is laid out and what you can do with it. So you have all of the basic functions in terms of creating a new document, opening, uh, printing out uh, very easily. And of course, uh, doing multiple sheets is fine right here, as you can see, and it'll keep going uh, down below very easily. Um, of course, you can choose the zoom option here as well if you have a big spreadsheet. All of our font size can be changed uh, just like you normally would be able to uh, on a Word document, and you can merge and center uh, uh, section, uh, sorry, cells very easily in the same way you would. You can uh, highlight or fill any kind of section as well, which makes it, again, very easy to do, and align it how it would be in the cell, uh, again, very easily. Now, in our file section, we can, of course, save these as um, different files, such as a photo or as a PDF. Um, we can password protect this, which again is a very uh, sensitive feature uh, to do. And of course, you can even protect uh, what is on here, creating a uh, protected sheet, the entire workbook, or even lock a certain cell from being uh, tampered with. On the options side right here, uh, we do have a couple of things such as comments are allowed, uh, which is a huge thing for um, being able to use uh, these such features. You can do, for, of course, formulas, which we'll get into in a second on the in-depth of how uh, the formulas are laid out. But as you can see, you can uh, either have it automatically done, recalculate it, um, or kind of change uh, certain things about it, which again, we'll go into in a second. And um, of course, edit on how the settings are seen on uh, how lists are done, and even how the file is saved, uh, which uh, can be very easily how you can save it on a normal basis. Now, when we go into edit, we see a couple of things. So of course you can copy, paste, and edit just with Control C, Control P, and or sorry, Control V. Um, so you can do that very easily. You can edit cells uh, by inserting or deleting certain cells. And then when you do, you can either do the same kind of thing you normally do, which is on the left or up. Delete rows, delete columns, hide uh, rows or columns, or hide entire pages as well. Uh, fill in uh, certain areas, justify it, uh, create a series, and clear certain things such as formats or hyperlinks. Uh, now, you can uh, these are some of the formulas you can do, of course, your uh, everyday ones. But when it comes to formulas, this one really does have a lot. So not only do you have the basics, but you can see right here, you have lots of different uh, things you can use it for. So just to go through a couple of them, just so you uh, can maybe see the one you're looking for, I'll scroll slowly through them. But you can see you have a lot of uh, different styles of formulas that you can use for different functions. I'm going kind of quick through it. Again, just hopefully you see the formula that you most uh, certainly need right here. And of course, you can always just search for it in a normal um, basis. So we can see there are a lot of formulas and most of the formulas that you do use in Excel will be here.
And of course, just pause it if you see the one that you were looking for. And there are all the formulas. Over here, of course, you can again protect it and spell check it. In terms of viewing, you can uh, do different page breaks, you can do different page setups. So if you need to change the margin or anything like that, you can, of course, you can do it in a portrait and landscape. You can create headers and footers uh, very easily as well and uh, do certain things on the sheet. So if you want like the grid line to be printed, which most people normally do, you can just highlight that and just see how easy all this is and quickly go to print as well. Uh, of course, you can get print preview, uh, attach a background. On the inserting, we have uh, pretty much every kind of uh, chart we can normally ask for. So you have things from bar to columns to lines, different types of pie styles. And you can see just how detailed it is uh, comparing to Excel. It does a very good job of how it lays out all of this. Uh, of course, you even have things like shapes you can insert and uh, even uh, word shop, uh, that kind of old style uh, word insertion. Uh, all comments are accepted, which is really good. Hyperlinks as well, and uh, even unit conversion is here and available to uh, convert if need be. Uh, and you can uh, do it in everything from length, weight, size, width, and temperature. And I guess we even have engineering, so if you really do need to do every kind of conversion, you can from here, which is again really nice. In terms of the formatting, uh, pretty much again, everything you can think of in terms of formatting uh, from number format to accounting in terms of which uh, kind of uh, dollar or uh, currency you're using. Comma indication, of course we can change the cell, which is something that I do fairly often. Uh, the patterns you can do, shadowing you can do, and um, even highlight, of course, the way you do certain cells. Uh, shrink to fit, which is uh, just, of course, very simple. The way it word wraps around, the height of the row, the width of the column. And again, here we look through the uh, formulas. So you can go through recently used, financial, and just see all the different kinds. More easily laid out uh, for you and just how it's done. And again, you can still see more formulas for depending on your specialty calculation options and how they're done, and even a calculation sheet. Uh, you have a lot of different uh, things up here on certain scenarios, goal seeking, uh, analyze it, data validation, consult, consultation, uh, consolidate, um, text and columns, combine columns, a lot of different things. So I asked my friend who actually uses Excel for all of his business needs, and I told him to send me the most complex sheets he had, and he did it in uh, one level, two level, and three levels. And I said, how do you feel this would replace Excel for you on a daily basis? And so this was his answers in terms of how he thought it would work. So um, he said, the only thing that's really broken is the conditional color formatting, uh, text and background as well as HTML uh, image links. So this does not work. Uh, when we were trying out his very complex ones that I had no idea how to use them, uh, this, were how, uh, this was the only thing that didn't work. Um, however, for all other purposes, he said he would recommend this for light and intermediate users um, that they could able to look at other, other sections of their formulas that are from other sheets. It combines it very easily and links to them. And um, very well done, essentially, for lighter heavy users. However, if um, certain formulas aren't there, then uh, they might be uh, some key formulas that are missing, as he said. So for light and intermediate users, this should uh, do fine. Uh, especially if you're just editing something quickly, it sounds like it will do it easily. But for you even creating a complex one, it looks like it should do your job. Um, so if you do have any other questions about this, feel free to ask um, and I will do my best to answer it. And please give a like thumbs up if you did enjoy this. Thank you for watching. This has been RICKY, the Android guy.